Okay, we have a spot repair today we're doing on a white Chrysler 300. You can see it's been primed in that one lower corner and it's been sanded with 600 grit paper. Now here is a quick view of how we've prepped the rest of the panel. I've polished the entire exposed bumper with a coarse compound and then my clear area has been sanded with 1500. I'm going to try and keep the blend within that yellow zone. If it was a silver more challenging color you'd probably want to take that uh, another few inches just to give yourself some blending space. You want to keep all your color within that area and your clear will taper onto the green area. Now here's just a quick look at uh, how the edge breaks down when you're blending your clear. You can see the red zone, the clear tapers off, the blending reducer is used to make a smooth transition from your new clear coat onto the old clear coat. And what can happen potentially there is that edge is weak as far as UV holdout goes, so the sunlight can break down that edge. So you kind of want to restrict a repair like this to a side panel, something down low ideally, but if you do with a hood or the top of the fenders, you blend the clear there, you're going to likely run into some problems. Now here's a quick look at the cost comparison. Uh, you can see why people might elect to go with a spot repair versus a full bumper. Uh, the material and labor is considerably less than a spot repair and you're usually looking at a day or less for a turnaround with a full bumper you can you can really be anywhere one to three days but typically you'd say two to three this is just a quick view of how I've masked off that one edge I've back masked the style line there so it'll keep the overspray underneath that line So after your first coat of clear covers just the base, you bring your second coat a bit further out and you want to really taper it out as you go. Make a kind of smooth transition for your clear. Makes blending it out that much easier. I like to have my blender in a separate PPS cup just ready to go on right away. It depends on the type of clear you use. You can have anywhere from 30 second to 5 minute window to do this. But it's usually instantly is when you want to spray it. So you just work to melt the, the edge of your clear away. If you look down the panel you'll see dry spray and the spray your blender over that area to basically melt it in. Okay, so the last part of this job is basically polishing it. So once the clear has dried very well, and you'll want to grab some 1500 to 2000 grit sandpaper and sand down the blend zones. And you'll want to polish it and just treat it like it's a you know, polishing out a piece of dirt or anything else. It's really no different. So once she's shined up, she is good to go.